This is for Katia Washington, who was shot unjustly after getting off of work. Her murderers got off with nothing but a slap on the wrist. Is this how it will continue? Is this what justice has come to? The New Orleans Police Department houses murderers in uniform. Well, no more. Man, sis, I don't know. None of this is working. And we the only ones still out here. You sweating, we sweating. <sighs> Can't stop fighting. For our viewers just tuning in, at approximately 10.53 a.m., there was a tragic explosion at the New Orleans Police Department during a protest. Sources confirmed that 20 brave men and women of the police force died during the explosion. The police commissioner has notified the families of the victims. Tune in to tonight's broadcast for more details and an exclusive interview with the police commissioner as the investigation continues. you do is chew for me, okay? All right. Oh, come on, Ryan. Hey, fuck off, bro. We ain't got shit. I said, fuck off! <laughs> Come now, Gasson. That's not going to work on me. He looks very sick. He needs a healing. Heal him. I said, heal him. You can do it, Gasson. I don't know how. Oh, yes you do, Tibre. Oh, we all right. That's it. Yes. Hey man, how did you know what? <laughs> You'd be surprised at what I do know. Who is you, man? Don't worry. We'll be seeing each other very soon. Very soon.
and your auntie Bridget. How you doing, baby? Hello dear, I see you done got my invitation. And who is you? Most folk call me Mama Aya. <laughs> but I'm your grandmama. So, grandma will do just fine. Look at her, Mama. Oh, shook her. <laughs> what do you mean you're my grandmama? Come on, baby. We got some talking to do. Thank you, Miss Aya. What they say down at the station? Pretty much nothing. But one of our students was involved. Alexis. I believe she had some help with the explosion. I'm expelling her. Oh, no. She's a good girl, just passionate is all. She would never hurt anybody. Yeah, well, it's a passion that can get her killed. Do we know who did it? No idea. Local authorities are cracking down on protesting, and I'm instituting a campus-wide curfew. Mm. No students are allowed off campus. I'm sensing a strong force. Who's that? My grandbaby. Malik Baron. Here. I need you to let him into Cayman. Miss Aya. Just do this one favor for me. Darren, he's strong. And he needs your guidance. And you're the only one who can do that for him. He's reckless. I've kept a tab on him, you know. I know. But Darren, baby. You and me both know he belongs in that school for his good and others. He belongs there. Thank you for the tea. I'm not quite sure I trust Malik. You don't trust him? He's reckless. He's a child. He's out of control. <laughs> yes, and someone once said that about me, and here we are, a hundred years later. If he does anything to jeopardize the came away, that's on you. A hundred years and you still know how to hold a grudge. Who that child with you? He's Tay. We grew up in foster care together. You just a child yourself, and you's taking care of him? I'm all he's got. What about them folks he was staying with? He doesn't need to be with them. If you're really my grandma, then why haven't you come for me? There was... There was a lot of things at play here, Malik. Now I know I made a lot of mistakes, especially with your mama. But 
I want you and that precious boy to stay here. Stay here? Yes. For as, as long as you need. You don't even know me. And you want me in your house? Oh, I know your child. Mm. And I see it. You're having trouble harnessing that power that's on the inside of you. I'm getting better. Mm. What you have, Malik, is generational. It's a part of who we are. As the old folks say, we are descendants of a powerful tribe of Vodun priests and priestesses. Your great, great, great grandmama Miriam, a powerful slave. The ancient ways of Oba runs through your veins. Hey. Yo. <laughs> Yo, we got our own rooms, bruh. <laughs> These some cool people, man. Better than our old foster parents. You think, you think they're gonna send me back? Hell no. Look, I'm not gonna let that happen. But they're out there looking, Tay. You don't have to ever think about that. I got you. Trust me. But this is your family, man. I don't know where I fit. You're the only family I need. All right? <laughs> Come here, man. I love you, boy. I love you, too. Alright, enough of that mushy shit. Whatever, man. <laughs> Yo, did you eat? Yeah, she fixed something. I, I, uh, oh, 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 mama, I, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Take a tour, shall we? This is Congo Square. It's where the students gather and frolic in between classes. You'll be a freshman. You'll be taking all beginner courses as you learn how to control your magic. Wow. So this is real? Like no cap? I beg your pardon. This? I mean, it's like Hogwarts, but for niggas. Please refrain from using that word around me. But to answer your question, yes, it's real. <laughs> Schedule's on your phone. Take a look and pay close attention to English class. You seem to be lacking in that department. Hey, 
who are you supposed to be anyway? Like the glorified campus tour guide? I'm the chancellor. It means I run things around here. So let me be very clear with you. There are a strict set of rules in place to ensure the safety and well-being of our students so you will not go off gallivanting and showcasing your magic to people outside of this school. If you so much as have a commotion or disrupt the Cayman way, I will personally and gladly expel you. Do I make myself clear? Good luck, freshman. This is Malik, my old childhood friend. Malik, this is Danye and Savan and Elijah. So. Malik Bada. Welcome to Cayman University. So I'm Professor Kumale. I'll be teaching you about magic and its history. Oh, okay. So what's up? How are you doing? How are you adjusting? I'm all right, you know. Campus is huge, it's nice. Mm. I heard you met the Chancellor, Tyron. Yeah, I met him. Yeah, he owned one, man. I don't know about him. He's been running the school for almost a century. It'd be wise of you to trust him. All right. <laughs> Look. I know Taryn is a bit of work, but he cares about you and the other students. He does. And we've known Mama Aya for a long time, so we are here for you. Okay. Okay. That's good. I'll be seeing you in class. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what time is class? I saw you put um, mayonnaise, you know, in your french fries or whatever. I haven't seen that since we uh, lived with that foster family. They used to do that all the time. Look, I never stopped. <laughs> I see you haven't changed. Well, I mean, I can't really say that either. So what's up with you and old boy? We've been friends a long time, and he's been there for me in ways that nobody has. It's complicated. Uh, it's complicated? You're gonna give me the complicated line? 
Okay, what about you? I know you have some girl in your past. Nah. Uh, Not really. You were the only one. That puppy dog crush? Oh, come <laughs> on, man. That may be. But I never forgot about your legs. Not once. Kill me like you did the rest of them? Mama, it's just a little schoolyard fight, that's all. Uh, you two better get back on to college, eh? Kanye, <laughs> what? What is wrong with you? You are acting crazy. You're getting too close. What? Remember what you're after. But he's not like that. I know it's You don't know, I know him don't... anymore. We have a mission and we can't fuck this up. Don't you think I know that? I don't think you do. Fuck! But don't you want to change the world? Huh? If we do this, we can change the entire world. Then you have to get your head back in the game and leave him alone. And just so you know, if they find out whatever we did, especially at that police station, you can kiss your little fairy tale life goodbye. Remember, you owe me. No. Let's do this. <laughs> 